and so I just want to talk to you about the Dyson Airwrap. I got this a few months ago. Right after I got it, they came out with a new one. The only disappointing part about them coming out with the new Dyson Airwrap isn't that I need to have the latest and greatest, but it's because the new one is a little different. For mine, you need to switch out the barrels every time you want it to go in a different direction. So if you want it to go one way, you use that barrel. Then you want it to go the other way, you switch it out and use the other barrel. Is it the end of the world? No, it's first world problems. But I was just disappointed that so quickly after I bought mine, they came up with a new one that has the option to just use one barrel and a little thing to turn it makes it go from one side to the other so you don't have to change out the barrel well little did i know that you don't need to buy a whole new one you just need to buy barrels and they fit on my old one which worked out fine because i wanted to try and get the longer ones which I was having a lot of trouble getting, when I finally realized that the new barrel that just has the little switch to turn on the top to go whichever way I want it to go, I can get the new barrels, the long barrels, and it fits on my old Dyson arrow. The long barrels, I think I really like them because uh, my hair is it's about here and I'm trying to grow it out so it just has more surface space so it dries a little quicker and you know it's all about getting things done quicker right so the other thing that since the last time I did a little tutorial on my Dyson Airwrap is that I've fallen in love with this guy I'll do an entire blowout just with this guy. He is really good at giving me um, the volume that I want on top. And then you just smooth, if you want just a nice smooth with a slightly rounded, you know, end. This is your fella. So I wasn't using it that much at the beginning, but then I don't know, I just tried it and I'm like, this guy is not getting enough attention so he's kind of top on my list and then if i just want a little flowiness i can do this and then <clears throat> now all i have to do is switch the side nothing really worked on my fine hair um i have enough hair but it's fine and uh it doesn't hold a curl it doesn't hold anything so and i always have the split in the back of my head that is so stubborn that split always wants to just lie flat and it drives me crazy and with either of these really it, it both work to give me the volume that I want up here I mean I don't want giant Texas hair even though I live in Texas but I do want a little bit of volume right even if I'm using the barrels it comes with the fatter ones and skinnier ones and I like using both mostly I'll use the fatter one and then after I'll go in and I'll just take a you know just a few here and do one this way one that way because it's so easy now to just switch this out so I I'm I am enjoying it it is fun to be able to do it a little quicker. Let me just show you. So when I use this, I use it, I start at the top and I get right in and I dig, I dig it in as tight as I can and really just hold it this way then put it in and hold it that way. So initially what I'm doing is really trying to just dry that root right in there. And then when I do that, I go on this side and I dry it right up there. On this side, I dry it right in there. And then I hold, I sort of twist them up and I hold them and then I go in and blow dry the rest of it. I'm about to talk and blow dry at the same time. It's 
you're, you can't hear me. So let me just show you real quick how I do it and I'll just fast forward through it. How about that? So when I feel like I've gotten the root really dry, then what I do is I just pull it right to the end and I roll it up and then I hold it there until everything is dry. So now the roots are dry, the ends are dry, so I'm gonna take it out. And then I'm just going to roll it sort of like, can you see? I just kind of give it a little roll because I want it to stay there while I do the rest of my hair. Okay, now I'm going to do the same thing for these top pieces. Exactly the same way. Get right, dig it tight and pull the hair tight because I want it to really get in there and uh, dry. So the second side is done so I just roll that up and so I've got all the top rolled up and dried so I have this down here and just the way my head is shaped I don't know if everyone has this but I actually do a second one at the back here because I have a I don't know kind of goes flat on my head right there and like I said, I have that spot where it wants to part. So I always do a second one right at the back there. So I'll go, I'm going to do that. Okay, now I have that second one done back there. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to roll it up and hold it in place. Well, I do my bottom hair. So at this point, I have two choices. Either I finish it off and just blow everything out just nice and straight. I pull it really straight. And then at the bottom, I just curl it under like that. Or I go in with this guy and curls it back and um, if I do it that way then I will probably do one back switch it do one forward I'm thinking I'm gonna do it with this. I'm just gonna do it all. I'll blow it out with the this guy, and I'll do the same thing. I'll get it right under the root, and then just pull it straight. Really pull it tight, and then curl it just at the bottom. take my clips out
So you can see it's got a ton of volume right in here. And then I can just take my, which I love this thing, this little guy right here. Oh no, he goes on this guy. There we go. There is one that goes on this too, but I already have this. And what this does is it smooths out all those little hairs that want to uh, stick up. There you have it. If you want a more um, in-depth uh, tutorial on when I first got it, I have that. Um, I will link it and... Um, I think I have two. I can't remember what the other one is all about, but um, just another blowout. And that's it for today. Thank you for hanging out with me and helping me blow dry my hair. Don't forget to subscribe. Give it a like if you're feeling super generous. And uh, I'll see you later. Bye.